Welcome back, everyone, to the Tower Project. Thank you guys so much for uh, sticking with me all this time up until the tournament. And you know what day today is? Today is June 3rd. And you know what that means? The Divine Rite of Kings Medieval 2 Siege Tournament has officially begun. And I am so excited to go through all of this with you guys. And I can't tell you how amazing it has been to see how much this tournament has grown. I, I was hoping for maybe a, a four or five teams of three people, but we have eight teams of like six people each. You can see all these people that have showed up for the tournament on the Discord here. I, I'm absolutely blown away by this community. I can't tell you how much fun I'm looking forward to having with you guys on this tournament. So what I want to do in this video is go through a couple announcements, a uh, couple of final things as the tournament is, is gearing up, and uh, also a couple things with the channel. So the first thing I wanted to do is go through uh, this week for the tournament, which I've got round one set up right here. We've got my team, Make Mortars Great Again, taking on the Papacy, Black Death taking on Guard 189, sending the Artillery Crew taking on the Valiant Knights, and the Reapers taking on Team 5. And so what's going to happen is this week, each team is going to play their opponent two times, once attacking, once defending. And that is going to give them a score for the week, uh, which will be uh, done using the scoring system here. Heroic victory gets them two. Any other victory gets them one. A defeat gets them zero. Crushing defeat loses you a point. So if, for example, my team make mortars great again were to... Uh, win one round and the papacy were to win another round uh, let's say they're both clear victories and clear defeats we would get one point at the end and the papacy would get one point at the end so we would each go into the standings uh, with with one point and a one-to-one -one win loss ratio the reason we're doing the point scoring system is because right now uh, we're in the the league games phase which are these seven weeks uh, where all the teams are going to play all the other teams twice, and that's going to give you a total score. So, uh, and, and what that score is going to do is it's going to determine your position when we go into the playoff rounds. Uh, the playoff rounds, all eight teams are going to go to the playoff rounds. So this isn't an elimination. This is just to get you your position in the playoff rounds. Uh, so you want to do as well as you can here in the league games because that's going to determine your position when we get to the playoff rounds. Uh, so if you come in as last place... Uh, in the league games, you're going to have the worst position in the in the finals, in the in the playoff games. Now, that doesn't mean you can't win, uh, but it means that you're going to be taking on the best team in the first match. So, do try to play the best you can in the league games because it will be a big help to you when we get to the playoffs. And so, the other thing I wanted to go over with you guys was to go over the roster and give a shout-out to all the players who are playing. Um... Uh, Everyone deserves a, a good shout-out for joining the tournament and committing to this. So I just want to go over the rosters very briefly. You know my team, uh, myself, Lavernicus, and Granticus. Um, we've, been, uh, we've been very close playing this game for years, and uh, I think we'll be able to uh, at least compete in the tournament, even if we uh, might not have a huge shot of winning. We'll at least be able to compete against these teams, I think. Uh, but below us, we have the Black Death led by the Careless Rex, also known as Charles I. Uh, excellent player. Him and Varen, uh, that's definitely a, a power duo there. And they have Mad Jack uh, and Iris and Notorious Ronan. So a lot of heavy hitters coming in at the Black Death. Shout out to Team Black Death. Let's hear that war cry down in the comments section. Uh, below them we have Sending the Artillery Crew, which is the Arm Clan and their allies. Uh, how do you do Waffles, Catagon, uh, Zilla, Leonard, Artabella, uh, uh, the D1R is, is Four Horsemen Belak, um, if you guys don't know. And then with the Wrathful Grape and Dreamer uh, are all on there as well. So shout out to sending the artillery crew. And they even have their own custom meme, uh, which you might see uh, within this Discord. So below them, the Reapers led by Bismarck uh, and Spartan Quap, Fingolfin, and Mr. Kebab. Uh, Spartan Quap and Bismarck I, I know pretty well they're both very good players so uh, the Reapers definitely coming in with some talent on their team team five is is oh geez they are that is a power trio right there we've got Russian King Teutonic Elite and Jamie Dodger all playing on one team that is a that is a tough 
tough trio right there to beat. So uh, I think Team 5 in this tournament is going to be the team to beat. Uh, I think they've definitely got a powerhouse trio going on there. So huge shout out to Team Five. Let's hear uh, let's hear that war cry down in the comments section as well. Uh, below them, the Valiant Knights with Drunk Norwegian, Rogue Chivalry, uh, Bram Lederick, Hellenic Warlord. Uh, they've got some great players on there too with the Valiant Knights, and we've got Guard One Eight Nine led by Roland. We've got Apollo Forty Four, Kaiser the uh, Second, Kaiser Otto the Second, excuse me, Constantine the Great, and K Benson. Uh, on Team Guard 189. So some great pl All these teams have great players on them. Uh, I, I really wouldn't put any of these teams out of the running for winning. They, they all have uh, good measures of talent on each team. Really, uh, and I, I do mean that sincerely. Uh, team the Papacy uh, bringing up the, the eighth team slot led by Trump. It's, they've got Teutonic Order. They've got America 1776. They've got Kublai Khan. They've got Talos, Seamith, uh, Type 113, Tiger Status. So, again, great players on Team Papacy as well. Uh, there are five sanctioned tournament officials right now. I am looking for a sixth. So if you're interested in becoming a tournament official, let me know down in the comments section. Obviously, you need to be participating in the tournament as well. Uh, but if you're participating in the tournament and you want to be an official, let me know in the comments section. Myself, Lavernicus, Waffles, Magic, and Rex are the five tournament officials. Uh, now... Let me move on to uh, the YouTube channel here with a couple very brief announcements. Uh, you probably noticed it's been a little bit more than a week since we've had a video. And uh, that is is not for lack of, of planning. Uh, so once the tournament really starts to kick off here with games coming up, uh, the channel is going to have a lot of new content coming out. So stay tuned to the channel. It's not going away. It's not dying. Uh, it just took a little week uh, for me to get everything ready for this tournament here because there was a lot of organization and administrative support that needed to happen to make this take place, and I just didn't have time to do that and school and the videos and everything else. So uh, once the tournament starts to ramp up here, there's going to be tons of new content coming on the channel. Stay tuned. Uh, I think you'll really appreciate what's coming out there. And uh, best of luck to everybody in the tournament. Uh, really look forward to having a fun time with you guys and having some great competition. Let's keep it to the rules. Let's uh, keep good sportsmanship. I, I don't see any of that being any of a problem with, with any of the players here. I think everybody's going to have a great attitude and have a great time. Let's have some fun, and best luck to everybody in the tournament. I'll see you guys next time on the Tower Project when we've got round one of the Divine Rite of Kings tournament video coming out. See you guys then.